So here we have the Franklin Red Lightning prototype. It's currently the only known one existing. There were obviously a couple others made. No one knows if they still exist. This one is working, has been tested before. It's a little preview of it. This is what she looks like. These are the only two known cards, expansion cards to exist for it. They plug into one of the four slots, cartridge slots on the back of the machine. There's an 80 column card, which is currently not working, as you can see by the label. Um, one of the wires on the back on the wire wrap was off, which would likely be one reason why it wasn't working. You can see the work that was done on the back of the card. And then there's another cartridge. Obviously, both of these don't have any case on the outside of the card yet. They were still prototypes. This one has a game on it. Going to take the card and insert it into the back of the machine after I turn it on for just a test boot. But first of all, amongst all of the other paperwork, schematics, chip diagrams, circuit board diagrams that came along with this machine, one of the very important pieces of information that came with it, chips face down when plugging cartridges in. That was an important piece of information to have. I thank whoever put that note in with the original box of parts. So we're going to take the card. You'll forgive the shaky video as I move the machine around. I'm going to pull it up. You can see the ports where it goes into. There's also expansion ports on the back for joystick port, cassette in and out. That's the composite video serial port. First, I'm going to boot the machine. The power switch is right here on the side. You'll hear it boot up. Let's see if we got an image. We most certainly do. I'm going to turn it back off, insert the game cartridge, and see what we get. All right, the cartridge is in. Let's see what happens when we boot her up. The shadows are an artifact of my video, not of the screen. So as you can see, it's a working cartridge. And that's all we've got so far. I do have a significant amount of schematics and paperwork, as I mentioned, that came with the machine. I'll put some photos up. Just to give you an idea of a couple of things that came with it. We've got serial port bill of materials. We've got power dissipation calculations. We have a nice interesting letter from proximity about what was included in some of the parts that were shipped from them to Franklin. Here's another one discussing the actual prototype itself. That's a little clearer for you. Give you a couple seconds to read that if you read as slow as I do. And then one last little tidbit that came with it. Again, I apologize for the shaky video. Here we go. A pair of the chips. I have to look through the information to see if this was the Snoopy or the Red Baron, which were the code names that they used. That is the Franklin Red Lightning prototype.